welcome back guys i was in the middle of a test drive in this 1956 model 210 and i uh, pulled over to the parking lot here we're going to do a walk around i'm going to be looking for any kind of chips flaws anything you may need to know about before you purchase this vehicle from us we are maple motors here in hendersonville tennessee my name is nick southgate and we're going to get started here. Check out maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available for you. We also have an about us section and a frequently asked questions section. Every Monday we update with new cars. Just so happens this Monday, we're all going to go out of town together and uh, purchase some new cars for the lot. So we'll, we will be closed next Thursday through Sunday. Today is the 8th. I guess I need to look that date up. Give you exact dates. Actually, we did. We put that on our main website. So go to maplemotors.com, check us out, and get those dates. Let's get started here. You can tell they replaced the front bumper. It's nice and clean. Same with the grill. It's in great shape. Got a set of American racing wheels on this one. I did notice under the hood here. You've got an upgraded exhaust, power steering, and you have AC. They put a nice aluminum radiator in here with the overflow. It's just looking good. Now we're going to run down the lower portion here, check for any kind of bubbles, bondo, scratches, chips. Here's some right here in the front. See those chips right on the edge, right behind the bumper? That may have happened when they were trying to install the bumper and had to do some touch-ups. It also picked up some road rocks. Coming down the bottom here. A little bit of rubbing went on there and knocked the paint off. Keep going. Well, they've done the chrome on the back too. The back bumper looks great. Let's keep running down this side and then we'll uh, end up in the trunk back here. The trim on the side of the car is in awesome condition as well. It's very clean. You can tell it's been taken care of, replaced. Door handles are fairly new. They do have some wear on the edges there. Got a touch up mark, passenger door, right by the antenna. Sorry about all that wind. It feels great on my end. I'm sure it's uh, loud on your end. There's a couple little spots right there on that trim around the front windshield. Right here on the nose, you've got a little bit of a scrape. Coming over the top portion here. Check it over the front windshields, nice and clean. Check it over the windows. You can tell the old glass, look at that. Checking over the roof here. These bugs like this yellow. Try to get them off there. Back windows in good shape, package tray, Polk audio speakers. Love these tail lights. Y'all remember where the gas cap is? That's right. Let's see if I can open this thing without messing it up here. I was going the right way. I don't remember how to open it. <laughs> I was going to say, I know it's on the driver's side. This one's a little tight here. There's got to be a trick to it that I don't know about. I'm going to mess with it a second. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. I was just being too gentle with it. These cars are made of steel. A little grease on that wouldn't hurt though. I 
whole gas cap there. Make sure I get that back on there. Good deal. Okay, checking over the trunk now. They've got a nice mat down in it. I like what they've done with this. It looks nice and clean. Did they glue this down? I bet they did. Well, the middle's coming up there. Doing what I can. They got the middle of it glued down. It's not looking all rusty, but it doesn't look like they went back over and threw a bunch of paint on it. A little dirt down in there we need to vacuum out. I'll get you some undercarriage shots of it. Uh, this is all glued down. I am not going to rip all this up right now and make a big mess. This trunk looks great. I'm actually pushing it back down. There we go. All right. I will give you some undercarriage shots here in just a moment. And you'll also be able to check them out on the test drive video or the detailed photos on my website. Okay, let's come down with this trunk. See how it shuts? It shuts pretty good. Nice and solid there. This side here is sticking up a little bit. See it kind of poking out. It's not flat like this side over here. Got some watermarks on there. I should have got off before we started the video. Okay, we're gonna go back down this side. I'm gonna shoot down the lower portion, hit the midsection, and we'll end on the top. And we'll jump on this interior and get it checked out. Right there in the corner, you've got a little bit of a scrape there. Coming on down. A little wax left over. Hey, if you don't find wax on it, it ain't good luck. <laughs> I don't know, it's something about them. Something about these cars and wax. Right here on the corner, you can see where it's touched up. There's some paint runs. The bottom of this door has been worked on. You can see it in this section right here. And back up a little bit. Try to point that out some more. It's from here over. At some point, it has been worked on. You can see it. Got a couple little bubbles in the corner here of the door, nothing major. Coming up over the fender. Same touch up as the other side, right there in the corner. Coming back down the mid section on this. You got a little dent right there in your trim. The trim is beautiful running down the side. That right there is just some dirt. It'll come off. Shooting across the back of the car. Back window looks pretty good. You got some light scratches on this back window here. From where it came down, you can see the track. Uh, a couple little light cracks there on the top of the door. Coming on over. Top of this fender here. Some touch up marks. Try not to miss anything, guys. Okay, now coming back over the windshield here. There's a couple little dents on the trim there where they probably tried to put it on where it gave them a little bit of trouble. This stuff is not super easy to put on. On the edge here. You got some uh, chips. And over the roof line, nice and smooth, looks great. Okay. Overall, I think this car pretty nice. Uh, it does have its flaws, a few chips here and there. I love what they've done under the hood. Let's go ahead and check the interior out, get it started up and check everything out. This one does have disc brakes in the front. And I like this wheel because it shows them off Cool. Interior matching. Carpet's been done. Seats have been done. Front and rear. Package tray's good. Headliner. 
is awesome in this car. Show more glance. How fresh this one is. B&M shifter in the floor. Fairly new carpet. Kick panels look like they've been replaced as well. Weather stripping's new. Jams are solid. A little bit of rubbish going on here. Caused the paint to come off. Grant steering wheel, but does the horn work? I seen two shiny chrome horns under that hood just a minute ago. Console's nice. Shifter's fairly new. I got an upgraded radio in here with all the paperwork. Let's put the right key in the ignition. I had it out to open the trunk. Just turn the key. Says Dakota Digital. Temp gauge is up. Oil pressure is working. Volts working. Fuel. Tack. And the speedo works. Wipers. The switch is acting like it's seized up. I think the switch is bad, so the wipers are going to need some work. Tilt column, chrome tilt column. <laughs> we would definitely turn on the lights now, that way I don't forget, and the turn signal, because when I turn the turn signal on in here, I don't see nothing or hear anything. Radio, uh, all the paperwork is in here. This radio is new, I guess, but, and the speakers are new too. It says Polk Audio in there. It's a digital radio. Resembles the classics. But I think it's going to have to be wired up. Because it's not cutting on for me. AC. Let's give her a second. Compressor just kicked on. Pulled down on the RPM. And she's blowing cold already. Compressor's back off. Horn, you ready? They put them nice pretty horns under the hood and it don't even honk. I wasn't sure what this is. Just making sure there wasn't no cutouts. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, it goes to the dash clicking stuff it's changing stuff around on me I thought for sure maybe you hold the button down and the exhaust would open up how cool would that have been <laughs> we're getting ready to look under there we'll see what kind of exhaust this guy when I check these cars out I check them out with you this is the first time that I've gotten to go all the way around the car I just turn the camera on and do it with you so. motor is very quiet Looks like a Edelbrock. Squeak on the belt. Under the hood is clean. Looks good. Look at these horns. Looks like new horns wired up. They just didn't hook the button up, I bet. All right. So far, so good. Check out the test drive video for sure. Look at the touch up marks here in the front on the nose. Got some over here on the edge too. Kind of run up. They've done it all the way down, I believe. It must have been off and they got it lined up and it was too late, you already had a bunch of chips. kind of stopping and showing you all of them. All right, let's come down with this hood. So I had the headlights on, I got the turn signal on too. And I don't see a turn signal in the front here. Everything else is working. Let's check this side. The tail lights are on. 
but we're not getting any blinking from the turn signal. It they may be working, but the flashers may be off. Um, see how bright that one is right now. Let's turn the other side on and see if that's the case. I can't really tell. Turn signals are not working as of right now. Tail lights, headlights, everything else was on. All right, I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots now. Go to maplemotors.com, check out the pictures, check out the test drive. Let's look under this one. Exhaust is nice. Right, guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit subscribe please share and hit like uh, even commenting i'll try to get back with you it does help me out quite a bit and of course if you're interested in this car i want you to watch both videos it tells you everything about the ride and if you go to my main website you can get those detailed pictures i can get financing and i can ship it to your front door but you have to go to my site check all that information out because if you call me and start asking about it, then I'm going to tell you to go to the site because that's where all of it is. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, though. I'll see you later. I got some more to do when I get back to the lot.